Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, November 26th, 2021. People, I'm getting like freaking chills right now. I want to I wanna talk to you about something before I even get started. So uh, the video I did this morning is getting uh, an incredible amount of feedback from all of you. And I got an ER doctor here who wants to come out on this video blog and set the record straight as to what is going on with uh, this whole thing that we are involved in. And from what I got so far, people, it's pretty freaking epic. L let me just read some of this to you. This is an ER physician out here in Las Vegas. So we're going back and forth. This was my text to him as we're going back and forth. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I write, what are your thoughts on all this as an ER doctor? Quote, sit down. It's propaganda. It's likely less lethal than the flu, but lots of unknowns and huge manipulation of the numbers. The likely real COVID deaths are between 25 and 40% of the numbers they're telling us. But extremely hard to know as too much manipulation. Here we go. Are you ready? I have firsthand seen hospitals change data. That's unfreaking believable. So I'm going to get this guy on camera here um, to talk to all of us. I would be willing to bet anything that that video is going to be pulled right after I put it out. Here we're going to have an ER physician setting the record straight. And uh, we're going to set this. We're, he's writing to me right now. Let me see what he wrote back here. What day are you thinking here? I want to get you in my office and record you. This will go out worldwide. What day are you thinking? Uh, incredible. Look at this. Look what he just wrote to me. Look at uh, all variants are most likely caused by the vaccine. People, this is an ER physician. This is insane. Um, anyway, unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. People, let's talk uh, more about what's going on here. We got warnings from banks today. Uh, all kinds of, of, of headlines that I want to read to you. What's going on here? What happened with the markets and crude oil? Let's start off with that. So today, we watched this market get hit pretty good. Um, the Dow fell about 905 points, something around that. As a matter of fact, all three major indices took about a 2% hit across the board. This is not anything, you know, uh, you know it, it's, it's bad, but it's not like, you know, earth shattering or anything here. Um, okay. We're watching a few other dynamics play out, and that's what we need to pay attention to. Let's let's look at crude oil number one. It fell 12% today. 12%. Again, there's all this talk about more lockdowns, about travel restrictions, about a curtailing of liberties and freedoms, mandates for vaccines, all kinds of things. All right, this is you know, playing out as I believe we would expect it to in this kind of an environment. This is, look, if you follow this blog, I know for a fact that you're watching these things unfold and, and, and you're sitting back going, well, you know, this is what I would have expected to happen. And I'm just so thrilled about that. Look, all day long today, I'm trying to write back to people in my email box, lighting up like a Christmas tree. Um, look, you got this. All of you do. And I'm very proud to say that, you know, you're ahead of the curve, light years ahead of the curve. And all of you are very smart. And I, I read the comments. I, I, uh, I'm overwhelmed with all of you. That's really the truth. You know, we're a team. Like I always tell you, this is not just Greg Manorino's thing. This is our thing. Anyway, so yes, markets got hit today. The entire yield curve came down. The dollar got hit. I'm talking about the Dixie, the relative strength of the dollar, the MMRI. People, a lot of people must be new here, are asking what is the MMRI? The Manorino Market Risk 
indicator. What this does very simply is take the drivers of this market, put it into an equation which gauges risk in the market. There is a link in the description of this video. It's right on my website. Anyone can go look at it. There's all kinds of lovely stuff on my website. The chat room, real quick. I am so happy to see more people in there uh, conversing about these things anyway. Um, let us let us move forward here. So, massive hit on crude oil. When I see this, people, bells, whistles start going off. What, what, what can we expect here? Something to occur to re-prop up crude. It won't be allowed to stay here. Okay, look for, again, a terrorist attack, a bombing, missile strikes, something to prop up crude. The entire energy sector got hit today. People, look, um, I'm going to tell you yet again where some opportunities are. I mean, opportunity is everywhere when you see something like this. We had the MMRI, the risk indicator that I think is the greatest thing out here right now, come down, okay? Um, despite the fact that this market took a big hit. Now, I am not saying that this market can't fall, fall further, farther, more, whatever. However, to me, according to what I am seeing, for, according to what I am taking in, this is opportunity, okay? I always look for opportunity, and I've kept all of you on the right side of this for, for years, years and freaking years. You know that if you've been with me any length of time. Um, anyway... So let, let us move forward here. Cryptocurrencies got hit pretty hard, okay? I have heard from a lot of you today who are like, okay, Greg, you know, now's the time I'm pulling profit. Some of you have written to me today alone and, and have disclosed to me are absolutely staggering profit uh, in, in Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies, since I've been telling you to buy this stuff from a long time ago. Now, it's never wrong, ever Ever. I don't care what anyone's going to try to tell you, okay? But it's never wrong to pull profit in any asset, okay? It's never wrong to do that. Me personally, I am not going to be pulling profit, although I have substantial profits in Bitcoin, other cryptos. I still firmly believe, yes, the volatility we're seeing, it could get worse, absolutely. We could see further drops here, uh, but it's not going to sway my long-term perspective on cryptocurrencies. I remain a major bull, and I will look for more opportunities to buy more if it falls, okay? Um, the last big drop to 41,000, you all know, I said buy that dip. Look at where we are now, we're like at 54,000. If you bought at 41 and you sold today, like a lot of people wrote to me, Greg, you know, I'm closing my crypto positions, I'm closing Bitcoin. Well, you have a hell of a profit there, and there's nothing wrong with pulling it. Don't let anyone tell you different. Oh, you're an idiot, you pull profit. No, anyone that's telling you that, they're, they're the idiots, okay? There's nothing wrong ever with pulling profit. You know that. That's how you stay ahead of the curve. You can always get back in, okay? But there's nothing wrong with pulling profit. With regard to gold and silver today, people, did you see what happened to the dollar? It got slammed, okay? But metals got, metals got hit. I mean, gold flat, silver fell over 1%. Good. We know what's going on here. It's the same thing damn thing over and over again is JP Morgan, who keeps getting caught over and over rigging the market. They pay a fine and they move on. Let them play their game. We're going to continue to play our game. You know that. So the real story today, again, is, look, the propaganda ministry is already starting. And let, let, me, let me start reading some of this stuff to you that I have. So number one, banks. Major banks here are warning on a, a possible hit to this market, and understand, potential hit on this market, depending on depending on how they play this. You understand? Look, the fear campaign is in full swing. Let me read some headlines to you. I was sharing some of this today in my free newsletter. Look, if you are not a subscriber to my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. You're missing out on a lot. I send things out during the day. Uh, headlines, things to ponder. So, you know, subscribe. And some of these headlines today, I mean, they're designed to make you afraid. I don't want you to be afraid at all. I want you to be aware of what is going on, period, the end. So let me just read this to you. So this, this is just two headlines here. Not seen before. Scientists have never seen this before. 
So look, what is this going to do? It's going to make a lot of people afraid. Some people are going to buy it. Some people are not going to buy it. And then the other headline that was really, I think, gripping was heavily mutated strain. Heavily mutated. Look at how they're playing on people. People have already been turned into like, you know, living marshmallows, worms, full of fear and anxiety. And that's what they're trying to do, real or not, okay, invented or not. Make people afraid of one thing and you got them. They're done. They're finished. Uh, and this, this mechanism goes back forever, you know, time immemorial. Um, that's how they control the masses, via fear and propaganda and distractions. This, this is the environment that we are in, people. Um, and I, I think you all know that I was writing stuff all over the place here. So we understand today, let me go back to the markets just real quick. Travel stocks got slammed today. Energy stocks, you know, obviously on, the, on a 12% drop in crude oil. What else would you expect? But don't expect that to last. Crude is not going to be going to be allowed to... to stand where it is. All right, they're going to prop it up. They're going to prop it up because it's the lifeblood of the market. It's the lifeblood of the military industrial complex, and you all know that. It's out of control. Now, not all stocks did bad today. Did you see Pfizer? Pfizer. You know, vaccine manufacturers, like I said this morning, you know, uh, drug manufacturers, they are, you know, they're, they're euphoric. They're absolutely euphoric right now. This is part of the game. People, I told you a long time ago, we have this hideous merger occurring between corporations, big pharma especially, and well, all of it, and this new American government philosophy. What is the definition between a merger of corporations and, and a government? Well, the definition is fascism, okay? Control, and that's what this is all about. Fear, the propagation of fear, in any any way they can do it. All right, uh, you know, smallpox, wh whatever they got to do to keep people afraid, that's what they're going to do. But you see, you and me, we can see through the bullshit. We can see through the dog shit, and that's what we're doing here in this blog. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. You know, I wanted to touch on this real quick. I know this video is getting kind of long, but just pay attention. We have surging inflation. We've never seen anything like this before and it's not going to stop. We have a central bank buying it all. You know, they've become now the lender and buyer of last resort. You will know that. Okay. Now, with that said, I've explained to you many times a phenomenon that has occurred throughout history when this happens. People are dumping dollars. They want to get rid of those dollars before they lose even more purchasing power. I expect to see um, consumer spending surge, surge higher, uh, especially into the holiday season here. People are going to dump dollars, and then the mainstream is going to twist this around as it's the greatest thing in the history of the world. Look, consumers are strong. They're spending, and they're spending. People are in debt beyond their eyeballs and further than that. Um, consumer debt, household debt, personal debt, all the things that I have foretold to you would happen with regard to that are happening. Debts and deficits, our economy shrinking as a percentage of GDP as fast as pace in history. People, this is all a game. This is all a game. Let me check my messages again here if I got anything else from this doctor. Uh, this definitely has sped up the pro Yeah, it's just, it's out of control. Imagine here he's saying that he has first hand seen hospitals change data. This is out of control. Out of control. And I'm going to get him on here. You're going to see this guy out. I'm going to get him on as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully within a week, we'll get together him and I on this and we'll get him right, right here on camera. We're going to do it. But don't expect that video to stay out here. Okay, it will be pulled. So the moment this comes out, save it to your computer or, or, or something. I don't know how you can do it. But um, anyway, people, look, I, I, I've, I've covered a lot here with you. And this thing with this doctor is huge. An ER doctor, a guy on the front lines of medicine dealing with this thing, you know, firsthand. And it's pretty epic. Anyway, look, um, what do you think about all of what you're seeing now? I, I want to hear from you. Please comment here. I know, like, what this doctor is saying does not come as a surprise. I said to anyone, it doesn't come as a surprise to me. Look at this. It's, it's I wonder if I could actually, is there a way for you to see this? Let's see. I don't know if you can... 
read that. Can you read this? Oh, this is him and I going back and forth. I mean, look at this. It's propaganda. It's less, it's likely less lethal than the flu, but lots of unknowns, he admits, and huge manipulation of the numbers. It's crazy. The likely real COVID deaths between uh, 25 and 40% 40, 40 of the numbers that they are saying. But again, he goes on to say, extremely hard to know. As too much manipulation. I have firsthand seen hospitals change data. This is insane. Um, this is crazy. Uh, and look, this is not the first healthcare provider, uh, professional doctor or nurse who's come to me, but this is a guy out here in Vegas who wants to talk. That's a first, and I'm going to get him out here. I promise you all that. People look, it's Friday. We're in the middle of like something I, I believe all of us, at least if you follow this blog, knew was coming, okay? Uh, new, new variants. I told you this was going to happen from a long time ago. Expect more fear campaigns. Expect the propaganda to get out of control. Um, expect people to willingly surrender their freedoms, to willingly surrender their, their, their liberties. This is what they're trying to do. It's working. You know, you see people in a state of panic, but not you and not me. Okay, we don't panic. We stay cool no matter what happens. We just raise our awareness like I've been telling you. We are ready for whatever comes. Be ready for anything like I've told you over and over again. People, look, I am going to urge you, especially with this doctor, um, making a few things known, share this video, talk about it, let people see this, get it out there, share it on all your social networks. They're going to pull, they're probably going to pull my channel. See this channel? They're going to pull it. I know they are at one point. Um, my last video got flagged this morning, in case you didn't know. I, I put that out in my newsletter too. They're going to flag this one. There's no doubt about it. I have a backup situation, people. So if they pull me from here, as long as you know where to find me, okay? So subscribe to my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. You, we're, we're gonna stay together. We're gonna keep each other on, look, this is a guy here who's part of our team, a doctor who, who, who's, who's had enough. He's sick of it and he wants to get the truth out there. He's not the only one. There's been a lot of doctors who have come forward and they all get taken down. They all get, you know, Whatever they do to these people, you know, look, I told you, this is about control. There's no free thought. You can't think for yourself. You can't even have a guy like this, a first line, you know, healthcare provider, an ER physician, a guy on the front lines. You know, you, he can't say what he wants. He can't even talk about what he wants without some kind of ramification. They will not be allowed. You must be squashed into some kind of form of conformity, okay? You're not allowed to think, okay? That you have to believe the propaganda. If you don't, you're done, okay? I, believe me, I know this channel's on borrowed time. It's been on borrowed time for a long, a long while. But we're gonna stick together no matter what happens, all right? I got your back no matter what happens and I know you got mine. All right, look, I can continue and continue, but we're gonna stop. People bring it in, all right? I'm going to again say what I believe is the most three important things that you should take away from every week. Every Friday I do this. I tell you, love each other, care about each other, and be charitable. This is how we change the world that is in some kind of state of, I don't know what this is. It's, it's yet to be defined, okay? But if we maintain, you know, the fact that we need to love each other and care about each other and be charitable, we're going to get through anything that, anything they want to throw at us, we're going to get through it, all right? I love all of you from my heart, and I mean that, and I'm going to ask you yet again, get this video out there. I'm going to get this doctor out here for you. I promise you that. As long as he doesn't change his mind, I'm going to get him out here, all right? I'll see you. Sunday for my markets to look ahead. Tomorrow you're going to hear from the crypto kid who's going to go over what happened today in the crypto market. But we got this. We got this, you and me. We, are, we absolutely got it. And I'll see you later.